All right, so what is the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy Volandis back with another video. Today's video, we're starting it straight out in the field. We, you know, got out the office. You know, I know you, I know y'all tired of seeing the office all the time. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all will see it in this video, but I'm gonna start this video outside. Before we get this video started, I'm gonna need y'all to go, you know, continue to beat up the like button per usual and, you know, help your boy out. Anyway, uh, we have the Mamiya RZ67. Get up in here, Let's show them, show them, show them, show them. So we have the Mamiya RZ67 lenses some film and memory cards over here, the XE4. And then right here usually goes this camera that we're filming with right now. But um, right now we're about to film, uh, uh, not film, oh no, yeah, we're about to document some things for my book because a lot of things that's going to be in my book are things that I was documenting before I was, you know, making videos, so that's that. But for a lot of these photos that I'm going to be taking for the future, I do wanna have kind of documentation of me taking them so that's what we're about to do today oh god damn oh shit why do i even all this shit. Damn, god damn it. Hey, pull this. This. Yep. Yeah, there we go. This nigga Moose talking about only one side come down. Nigga, why? Ah, damn, it's a bunch of shit back here. I gotta make sure I got it. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> All right, and then one more. Actually hold it, like hold the strap now. Yeah, like, oh yeah, that's perfect. One, two. All right, fuck. Ugh. Oh, isn't that bitch getting hot? All right, look this way though. Low key, take off your hood though. All right. All right. One, two, three. Come here, boy. You a silly dog. You silly dog. That's gonna be hard. I can't wait to get that developed. He do, he definitely do. He mad as hell about it. Bro, it's okay, it's not gonna kill you. Your puppy's safe. Where is he at? Oh, for real? His puppy's here? Who watching him, the dog? Oh, imagine keeping a man away from his kids. Look at him. Look, he's lost. He don't know what to do. Baby mama won't let him see his kids. He ain't did nothing, he's just trying to be a good dad. Then the worst part, as soon as they born, they out of here. And look at them. Yeah, I know, Snow. I know. Okay, so now, as you can see, we are back at the crib. So I kind of just wanted to throw a few uh, video and clips in of me taking photos at the beginning so you can see 
like kind of what my thought process is while I'm out there. Um, not really verbally speaking on it, just like kind of seeing me do it. Also, I didn't just want this video to be in the office the whole time while I, I gave you guys tips. As of right now, I don't even know what the title of this video is going to be called because I don't want the title to be um, intimidating and people not want to watch it because they're intimidated by the title. So as, as of right now, I actually don't know. So, so what I'm going to do right now is just go into three things that I kind of think about when I'm documenting and just doing portrait work and trying to tell stories through uh, my photos. So, so this first tip, in my opinion, is going to be probably the most important tip, but it's also kind of like a no duh tip. We all already know what it is, but it is composition. But I can't stress enough how important composition is. But while we are talking about composition, first and foremost, I do want to state that it is up to you and you alone to compose your photos how you see fit and how they look the best to you. If you want to leave a lot of headroom in a photo, if you want to leave little to no headroom or a lot of room on the left or a lot of room on the right, it is up to you. However you see this story happening is how you should compose your photos but you do need to um, keep in mind that how you compose your photos um, is literally the immediate thing is going to be the immediate thing that people see when they look at your photo is how it's composed and it's going to either draw them in or make them not want to look at it or it could be so crazy that they look at it and be like oh wow but um at the end of the day it's up to you there's no right or wrong as always but but composition is clearly very important and there's a lot of factors that go into having a decent composition so your focal length clearly that's going to be one i use wide angle focal lengths like on the photo of the dog um the story that i was trying to tell because i don't know if you guys kind of heard me joking about it but Tori's dog just had babies and inside the home we were shooting at his babies were there so the dog was being very protective so I wanted to take a picture of the dog and like have the house like in the background and the dog barking so um it kind of looks like he's protecting this house where his his babies are and um that's kind of the story that I was trying to tell through these photos also there's a photo of Tori grabbing his gun out the trunk so I didn't want to just have an obvious like he's grabbing a gun out the trunk photo so I got into the trunk kind of just to switch it up and give you that different that that different perspective it's almost like from um, the trunks point of view or like the guns point of view um, so it's just something different it gives you a different feeling rather than like if I would have took the photo from outside it kind of would have been not as intriguing in my opinion so um, the way you tell stories and the way you position your camera is clearly the one of the most important things and it tells the the story the most and in one of the examples i used my friend and he was in front of a house and i took a picture of him just standing in front of the house and then i stepped to the side and took a picture of him in front of the house and you could also see the houses down the block so in that situation it was kind of like um this composition told a story about where he stayed and then this other composition where you can see the entire block plus his house is like where he's from so there's there's two different there's there's always different stories to be told even within the same composition if you just take a few steps to the left or a few steps to the right point your camera up or point it down clearly it's not too much to really get into is self-explanatory but um i think it's a good tip so yeah composition all right so moving on to the next tip and the next tip is intention i think your intent and like what you are intending for people to see and for what you and what you are intending people to take away from your photos is very important now granted what you want people to take away from your photos doesn't always happen but that's art so even if you take photos sometime and you intend them to be to be viewed a certain way that's not always going to happen but i do think for your own sake and for like what you want to do and for maybe explaining these photos down the road um your intent with these photos is very important i think that the rules on documenting your work are changing a lot more over time because in my opinion if you're going to be a documentary photographer and take pictures of people in their environment doing things that they do all the time whether it's posed staged or um just that they they're aware that a camera's there it is still and should be considered documentary work because you are still documenting that person's life and what they do so even if it's posed it's still documentary work but with this comes a great responsibility of telling the story of that person because 
you now have full control of what going to be seen and what's going to be said not all the time but i mean you have the control to take the photos and you know put them out there in a way that's for people to be for people to see them so um the intent behind that is very important and um like i said it's not always going to be taken the way you intend them to be taken but i think that's a great thing about art that i mean it's supposed to make people uncomfortable supposed to make people feel certain things supposed to make people think so if people are looking at your photos and they're thinking and they're creating their own stories that's great even if it's not the story you want them to take away it's you know it's art's part of the game i used to be mad at it but now it's like yeah it is what it is i know the story i'm trying to tell so um some people see it some people don't maybe later they will maybe they won't it is what it is it's just you know the game we 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 play you feel me so the last tip i'm going to give y'all today is to see with your eyes and not your camera honestly everything to me i see through my eyes as a photograph that might be a little bit like obsessive like with photography but like when i when i'm driving around or if i'm taking pictures of somebody i'm always seeing the photo first like with my eyes how is this going to look to me with my eyes before I pull my camera out and I'm just taking photos. So when I pull up to take pictures anywhere, I'm always seeing how I want this photo and how I want this story to be told before anything else. Before I pull out my camera, before anything else, I'm looking around and I'm seeing, do I want him on the grass and the whole house in the background? Do I want just a portrait and things in the background to be blurry? Do I want, what do I see these photos as do I want to do I want this car in the shot do I want the grass in the shot do I want just the sky in the shot how am I how am I seeing this photo before I take it because going into it sometimes if you go into it without kind of looking at it first you you get there and you don't know what to do you're looking for a composition you're looking at how to tell this story because you didn't take the time out to see the photo before just trying to take it. So um, I know that's kind of vague and loose ended, but I think just if it makes sense to see the photo before taking it. Also probably up there with composition because it falls, everything falls into place after you see the photo. So that actually might be the most important tip. And then come composition and everything else. But um, yeah, just seeing before taking is what I like to call it. It's what I do and what I try to do at least. So yeah so anyway those are my three tips for you know taking documentary photos and just documenting and telling stories um i hope they helped you guys out i hope you guys got something out of it i hope it you know maybe you can use these tips and use them for your own photos and if you already are using these tips and you already do these things then you already know what's going on and you know what i'm saying it doesn't need to be what's understood doesn't need to be explained so you already know anyway though that's gonna wrap it up for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys got something out of it if you are not subscribed to the channel please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you are already subscribed i am not talking to you because you already did what you had to do so um i'm gonna get up out of here and i'm gonna go do some shit so yeah let's go do some shit you know the vibes